Today we're taking a quick look at this, Flex 1 Alpha, and you might notice that this is not FLUX, this is FLEX. I'm also going to show you a couple of workflows that you can run with this, just a simple version and then some uh, comparisons. And what this is, is basically a, a fine tune of the Flux Schnell model, but it has similar architecture to Flux Dev. So why would you do this? Well, basically, the Flux Schnell model has the Apache 2 license, which basically lets you do whatever you want with it compared to Flux Dev, which is uh, a lot more limited. So using the Flux Schnell as a base, working on that and getting that up to, well, the hope is to get it up to the Archiflux Dev quality and a base for fine tunes. And we'll let's see if, if that's going to be the case. Now, compared to the other models, this is an 8B model. The others are the Flux Dev ones are 12B. And they claim here fine tunable. Now, still a lot of debate going on. You know, if, if the others are fine tunable or not, I'm not going to get into that debate. But basically, all you need to do is uh, get this file here, Flex Alpha Safe Tensors. It's a uh, doozy 21 gigabytes, but it has the text encoders and the VAE included. So you only need this. Download that, go into your models folder, checkpoints, and drop it in there. You can also drop it in the diffusion models, for example, or the new net, but if you want to have uh, the load checkpoints node, which is the one that we're using here with the model the, and the clip and the VE all in one, just put it in the checkpoints folder, right? I have done some testing here and I actually loaded the Flux Turbo LoRa with this. So that's commonly used for some of the de-distilled versions of Flux Dev. And I'm also running this now at eight steps. I'm going to I run a quick comparison here, so this is not really an XY plot, it's just a, a simple workflow where we have a comparison. So just using Euler Normal CFG 1.5 through the CFG Guider here, which uh, also allows us to have negative prompts with this. We then have 8 steps, 20 steps, 20 steps, which is 8 steps Turbo LoRa, 20 steps Turbo LoRa, why would you do that? And 20 steps, no LoRa. Well, actually, I found out that you can get some cool results with using the Turbo or at higher steps. You get this kind of a textured look on some of your images. Now, with all that said, most of the close-up stuff is fairly plasticky. And uh, it was I didn't find a good way to get around that. Now, this was released yesterday, so I haven't had too much to test. But if you ha get some uh, great results or you have some success yourself, Put your info in the comments for everyone to learn. There is much to be improved here. Now with eight steps and the Turbo Laura, I mean, except for the plastic skin, I would say the quality is, is okay. I mean, it's eight steps, so it's a fairly quick generation. I mean, it's still flux, so it's not the fastest model, right? But if you compare it to like running the 20 steps with no Laura, it's not too bad. Less than half of the steps and a similar looking generation. Again, caveat with the plastic skin. But having another example here, with it was, which is just one image, this is eight step with the Turbo Laura, just a cat in a hat. And with these kinds of images, you aren't really noticing the plastic skin. Now, if you like zoom in, uh, obviously you're gonna see it's a little artifact here. But as a base to start fine tuning from, I think it's, you know, it's pretty cool. If you do want the Turbo Laura, you can get it from this link. All the links are gonna be in the description below. I just downloaded this model here, 694 megabytes. You put it inside your models. Laura's and then you drop it right in there. I renamed mine uh, called Flux Turbo Laura. You can do whatever you want, basically, it doesn't matter. Oh, editing sub here. I forgot to show you some of the images that are available here. So here's some samples. Let's zoom in here. So these are some samples made by the creator. It's still a hit and miss, but as a base for fine tunes, well, I'm sure there's something there, right? Because the, the prompt understanding is good. So uh, I'm sure there is some potential here. Now, again, if you just look at them at face value, if you see this as a fully fine-tuned model and compare it to any other fine-tunes, well, then yeah, 
obviously the results aren't amazing but uh, it's a step in the right direction and it has the Apache license so why is this interesting right the cool thing about this is like we talked about previously you can start using this for fine tunes so is the community gonna rally behind this I don't know we'll see it's a cool new release and some people have been complaining about the possibilities for flux fine tunes with the other models. I've seen some cool work for the distilled versions getting to pretty cool results, even in, in you know, with eight steps and the turbo lowers and stuff like that. But I think this has some cool potential. You can actually, you don't need any custom nodes to run this. So I'm going to provide this workflow uh, in the links below. And this is basically all core comfy nodes, right? So we're just loading checkpoint, loading LoRa, all this basic stuff that, uh, well, is similar to what you would use in Flux. So think of your Flux dev and Flux D still dev workflows. Take what has worked there and test it with the Flex Alpha model. And I'm sure you're going to find some cool stuff, right? I did some quick testing. Bear in mind, this is nothing fancy. I just did an XY plot with four steps, eight steps, and different samplers. Yes, I know they're all in, in normal, but again, this is just a quick test. Uh, I'm using Euler, which I found was, you know, it, it, again, apart from the plastic skin and the cleft chin that you always get then from the flux base, it's uh, it's fairly decent. I think there is some interesting potential with, with the Hoin here. Now, this has a lot of weird noise, right? But maybe... We can use this weird noise. Let's say you have a K sampler that starts with this. Let's say you run it for like 70% of the generation. Then you end up with, you swap to another K sampler with another sampler that ends the generation while still retaining some of this noise. Would that help with the plastic effect? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but if you know any cool tips, let me know in the comments below. I'm sure everyone is eager to learn. Apart from that, most samplers did not do much here at eight steps. So it's very plasticky or very broken, again, all with normal. But it's cool to see some comparisons at least. Now, I do not have a comparison between this and Flux Dev currently. I did run a few here, but I've removed them from the workflow. And I would say that if you're running 20 st steps here, right? I mean, Flux Dev is probably better as a base than this, but if you're comparing this to Flux Schnell, now that's a different story, right? So the point is, can we get this, basically Flux Schnell, up to Flux Dev standards while also retaining the lower step count? That would be cool. And I honestly, if people start fine tuning this, I, I think that's uh, quite likely, is a high possibility. I don't know. But if you want to start playing with this now, there's a workflow in the description. It links to my Patreon, but it's an, it's a free link, so it's not locked behind the paywall. But yeah, some cool stuff coming from the community. This was launched uh, just last night. Play with it, see what you feel. Maybe do a uh, Viking in a hat. Oh, and just remember, if you change the CFG to one or lower, uh, then the negative prompt is not going to work great for you. It's also going to break the image a bit. Uh, this looks more like a Russian uh, Russian Viking dog in a hat. Uh, good thing is actually can generate while I am recording, which has been somewhat of an issue with the Flux Dev running um, at maximum. What well, is a cute dog? Anyway, test it out if you want. If not, well, see you in the next one. Have a good one.